Hello YouTube. I'd like to do a video today about high premium silver coins. Right now you're looking at the lunar snake and the lunar dragon from the Perth Mint. Um, I think both of these are around 40 bucks or more depending on where you get it. I think Gainesville has the dragons. and You might want to pick this one up because they're going to be harder to find. But almost always the case the lunar uh, coins go up in value um, right now the horse coins are coming out and I see some videos people putting up videos of the lunar horse coins so if you find a good deal on those I would highly recommend lunar horse coins from the Perth Mint right I don't know I kinda of think I don't have the lunar horse coin yet but I think the the snake and the dragon look much better you know but to be continued because I gotta get the horse coin first to really say that it is uh, it is as good or maybe not. All right. Um, you know, a few people on my channel have asked, you know, which high premium silver coin should they get? And I'm like, well, that all depends. But that was the first recommendation for high premium coins. Just get the parchment stuff, the lunar stuff. Okay. Now here. I'm going to show you is the Canadian uh, Wildlife Series and for those of you who picked it up or those of you who don't have it it's always a hit and miss you know now most of you probably know that the uh, cougar and the grizzly bear especially the cougar I think this is the highest valued one I don't know why they're valued higher but they are uh, like 60 bucks for this coin or more, even more the grizzly and the cougar, I think they're around 40 bucks, you know, give or take. And then you have the more recent ones, the antelope, the bison, and the moose. Um, I think the moose, yeah, the moose is the uh, most expensive out of these three here. And I don't know why that is the case because this is, I think this is also $40. But you can get these two for about 30 if you shop around. Now the Chinese pandas, um, they do fetch a premium uh, depending on the year you get. Right now you can get the 2013 for a decent price. I like the 2012 better, but I don't know, some people like the three pandas. Uh, but over time, these coins... Um, tend to go up in value. I think the 2012, the 2011, you know, the, the incrementally higher in value. Um, so these are uh, uh, high premium silver coins to consider if you like the pandas. Now, on to the koalas, which I think is a really good deal right now because um, I took a look at the last two years, this year and last year, and the 12, 2012 is definitely going for more. Um, and you can get this one, I think this was like 36 or 35 or maybe even less, uh, 33, somewhere around there, depending on uh, whether you go to Atmex or Provident. And this one, I think it's about 29 right now. But what's cool is since the 2014 just came out, I would pick up a bunch of those. Um, they're going for like 26 and change and provident. So uh, these are good high premium silver coins to consider as well. Uh, let me show you Koala. Now the Koala has not been getting much love because the latest one that came out, this is a 2013. But the latest one, 2014, is kind of ugly looking, so I don't know. And I think they're they're a lot cheaper than, well, not a lot, but a little bit cheaper than the kooks. Um, but for those of you who like the koalas, this would be a nice one to get. Now here are some other notable high premium, well, almost high. Except this one is a high premium for sure. Uh, this is the Tokelau horse coin. I don't know why it's not focusing. Here we go. This coin I got for 30 bucks, but now it's going for much higher. Um, I should have bought more, but I only got a few of these. Um, 
This one, I really like this one, the Obverse Snake Privy Canadian Maple Leaf. Uh, one thing I like about it is that since it's that Obverse design, uh, I don't think you get milk spots. Right? And this one, the Fiji Taku, uh, I got this uh, 2012 coin, so it has the Queen Elizabeth. New new one doesn't have it, so this might go up in value a little bit, but I don't consider this a high premium. It's no different than like a premium of uh, Maple Leaf or uh, American Eagle. Um, same with this. Uh, the Mexican Libertad, which I really like. I don't know, I just like this dull shade. It's very pretty. And these are some to consider. Uh, you know, these are pretty nice it's not again it's not I would not consider these two high premium coins but uh you know those are the coins that you know I have that I recommend for high premium oh one last one would be the African Somalian elephant coin and I think the 2014 is coming out now all right so uh keep that in mind uh, I think the um America, the beautiful coins are also good, and it all depends on the design and the mintage. And I think that will be about it. All right, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I welcome your comments. Uh, let me know what you guys are looking into buying, especially for the high premium silver coins. Ciao.